This is Jonathan from JLTech and welcome to the rebooting of the series, The Test Bench. Today we'll be testing Kaspersky Internet Security version 16, which is 2016. So it's a beta version, so we're just going to go ahead and test it. And we're going to follow the, uh, the scoring system shown just then. So, let's start with installer, of course. The installer is 85 megabytes, so it's alright, average size. So yeah, so right here we have a pretty simple UI install, of course, and of course checkbox for cloud scanning, and of course we have to allow that. It's only worth 10%, so it's not that bad. We have to actually wait 20 minutes for this, so I'll pause the video and come back. You can also use the time step. Oh. Apparently we're facing an error here. Downloading Microsoft.net framework. So I guess we have to do that manually, so that's not good. Maybe it's just a one-time thing. Um but definitely marks taken off for this particular computer. Um so I'll go ahead and download it manually and uh re resume the video once we're finished. So .NET Framework has been installed, oh, I guess I have to restart it right by. So we're finally back in, let's just verify that .NET Framework is installed here. Control Panel, Programs, and that should be it right there. Alright, so now it should run smoothly, I hope. Let's go ahead and close that out. Alright, install. Alright, so it should be working now. Alright, so I'll pause the video and come back when it's finished or there's something special pop up. Alright, see ya. Alright, so the install is finished. It was really quite fast, it only took about a minute, which is nice. And of course, it'll start right now. Let's press finish and see what happens. Let's take a look at the performance here. See if it's we can give it some bonus marks for performance uh, uh, it's alright but the thing hasn't even started yet so. oh it just jumped a little bit alright so protection is loading um, we have a new icon here, safe money probably some fancy feature uh, action center is going a bit crazy and yeah so that's installer so based on what we've seen, it was pretty easy to install, although we did have some problems with .NET Framework, and now it's asking me to activate no, the trial version. So we did actually have to manually install .NET, which is not good. But I installed this on my main PC, and this of course is a beta. So I installed this on my main PC, and it worked fine. So for installer, nothing was bundled, which is good, so I'll give it a... 7 out of 10. Alright, next up is user interface. So, you see here our computer is protected, although database is not updated in a long time. Which should say it's not protected if it's not updated, but we'll go ahead and run that now. Uh, it looks pretty clean. Uh, is it customizable? I don't think it is. So, but it's clean, you got scan update. Uh, now it says exclamation. It should be like that in front. So that, yeah, it should automatically update as soon as you install. So that's not great. But if we go into additional tools, some of these icons are obviously missing because uh, it's still beta. But if you look around here, we got application control. This is actually really interesting. So you can actually go through and each software will be like trusted or res low restricted so if we go to details and rules here it will, you can customize its rights for each application so that's pretty nice UI is pretty simple you gotta dig in a bit though if you wanna go like detail settings like file antivirus and then advanced settings and then you got all your fancy settings but we're just gonna leave it at default settings cause that's what a normal user would do and it's updating now, we'll give it some time while we look around the UI parental control uh, 
What else we got? On screen keyboard. No, I'm not gonna do that. Quarantine. Rescue disc. That's actually really useful. I actually save my computer once. So yeah. Oh, but it's not built in, it's a link, whatever. Network monitor. Uh, tells you nothing's really using the network yet, so. Um, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Is there any log report? Yeah, here's the log. If we need that. And yeah, let's take a look around. Alright, now let's look at performance while updating. So, here. Updating. So we expect it to be about 100 meg. Oh, that's pretty high, actually. Two, well, okay, wait, let's just... Alright. It's about 150 when updating, which is alright, I guess. Nothing is pretty average. So, yeah, so right now it's updating. I'll come back when it's finished updating, and then we'll do our virus test and also uh, give us the score for the user interface. Be Forgot to give the user interface the score. So, let's do that now and put it back in the video. So, we've already done some tests here, but so the score for UI is very smooth, fast, it's simple and for the advanced users everything is still there if you dig in a little bit but most users won't need to play with that. So it's simple, features at the front, most important stuff at the front and so it's pretty simple. Of course you have your right click menu there. So yeah, this is a good UI, I'll give it 9 out of 10. Alright guys, the update has completed. It did take quite a long time, about 20 minutes, but that's alright. So, well now we're going to run the virus test, but it's going to start a rootkit scan. All the settings are default, but I haven't changed anything. And we also have a packer ma We have a pack of malware, and we have some links. Uh, this pack of malware is actually very old, so I expect it to get all, most if not all of them. But we'll start with the links here. So, if I can get rid of this. No, I just have to deal with it, I guess. A clean MX, just in case this doesn't load. Um, this computer, it doesn't seem much slower. It's always been slow. It only has, oh, it's a virtual machine, so it only has, what, 3 gigs of RAM I set it at. The browser is really chugging along the load now. Alright, so it's really laggy we're just gonna use we're going to actually open up process explorer here let's run that leave it on the side there so we can monitor processes so let's just put that over there can put that over there all right so let's start with this one okay so let's go What? I didn't copy that. There you go. Alright, so malicious link block, so that's one out of one. We're gonna do ten, so it's one out of one so far. Is R zero a day? So it should be it's pretty tough. It's also blocked, so it's two out of two. Let's do this one. You can exit out of that. That one might be dead, so far 2 out of 2. Let's see if we can find chrome.exe. see. Uh, that one might also be dead. Oh, wait, wait. That one's been blocked. So 3 out of 3. What's this one doing? This one's doing a Bing search, so that one's dead. 3 out of 3. Uh, let's do this one. I don't think we need this. That's also blocked. 4 out of 4. Let's see if we can get a download going here, not just the web security. But the web security is doing pretty well. What's that? 4 out of 4? Uh, why did I click the next page? It's going to take another 20 minutes to load. Alright. So. Uh, finally managed to. Oh my days. Alright. I managed to get it working. So far, I think it's four out of four. Let's 
to let's start from here actually. These are still from today or yesterday, so pretty new. Okay. Let's keep going here. That one's been blocked. Five out of five, six out of six. That one's also been blocked. Alright, doing good so far. Uh, seven out of seven. And let's keep going here. That's eight out of eight. This one's still loading. One more. Let's keep it sort of like this. Unless that one doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't the web fielder didn't catch this one, let's run it. Actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it to desktop first. Don't wanna crash that. That is fun. Alright, save it to the desktop. Now run it when it's a more isolated. So there it is right there, and that one doesn't work, so, so far, 8 out of 9, I don't think it will catch someone, but we'll run it later, right after this link, here, and that one's been blocked, right there, okay, so, so far, 9 out of 10, already very good, now uh, we're going to go to do that, alright, Internet's off. Now we're gonna run this. That does disable the cloud scanner though. We'll scan the file later and see if it gets it. Nothing so far. Let's look at Kaspersky. Okay. Let's look here. Let's actually re enable the internet. I don't know why I disabled it. Enable that. <coughs> Alright, so, where's that thing? It's Trojan Inspector Injector Smart. Let's check virus total, which I can't do for some reason. We'll just upload it to virus total manually. I don't know why that won't let me. It's weird, okay. So just upload it here. No, no, no. Can you? Okay, don't be like that then. <laughs> Scan it. It's gonna upload for a few seconds. And that's all right. File already. Let's reanalyze it. Next, we're gonna do the. So it didn't catch that. So that's nine out of ten, which is very good. So yeah, next we're gonna get seven zip here. Oops. Looks like it's clean. Might be a false positive. Oh, never mind. McAfee, Symantec, Icarus, Icarus, and I pronounce it Komodo. All seem to be getting, or oh, a lot have been getting it. And as you can see here, Kaspersky did not. It's a rogue downloader. Behaves like bad fire. This one's just reputation. Uh, a rogue. So it's some form of rogue, I assume. Alright, so now I'm just going to pause the video, get 7-zip, unzip the folder of malware, and scan it. So, see that. Alright guys, I'm back. I've installed 7-zip here. We now have our folder of malware. So, what we're going to do is we're going to disable real-time protection for a few seconds here. Yeah, just turn those off. Turn those off. Alright, no, yes, okay, so, we should, should be openable, there's 7-zip here, I'm not sure why not, but we have it here, we got a computer, C, users, Jonathan, desktop, and sorry, here we go. So here it is, uh, let's go back here, extract it, let's extract it to the desktop. I don't actually have the password, so I'm going to have to check that for a second. So the password is, has been found, so let's just do that. Alright, everything should be in here now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run a 
contextual scan, it should be getting all of them, or most of them. There are 25 samples, I believe. Uh, 24 samples, so... Yeah. Scan should be pretty fast. I'll be right, I'll pause the video and be right back. Alright, so we're back. And it looks like one object was not processed, which is this raw file. I think. Hey, let's go back here. It did get everything else, so let's just have a look at the report here. Selective scan details. Alright, so alright, so it did actually get everything, just ignore what just happened there. So it did catch everything. This one is not relevant. Let's open seven zip. So yeah. So well done. We're just gonna do a still do a scan with MBAM to check if anything still got passed somehow. Oh well, we did get this. We should oh yeah. So that might be something that it might catch on to. So if Malbytes finds nothing, we're gonna assume that the PC is clean and that Kaspersky did a good job. So yeah, let's do that. It's gonna run a quick scan with Malbytes and I'll see you when that's finished. So see you then. Alright guys, I'm back. Malbytes found two objects which is both referring to the same thing here. Trojan injector, so we know it missed that. So that was the only thing it missed. We can clean that, and uh, yeah, uh, clean did not do anything. That's weird. But anyway, as for virus detection, it did very well for the zero day mix, nine out of ten, which is fantastic. The only one it missed was this one right here, which only a few, few, uh, and uh, now protection softwares detected so it's very good it detected all the uh, relatively old antivirus uh, relatively old virus uh, viruses so that was pretty good but that is expected so yeah so as for VAWA detection which is the highest rating for the score at 60% it did very well so now I'm going to give it a score out of 8.5 out of 10. So the final score, if we calculate it here. So what did it get? It did very well. The only thing that let it down was the installation problem, which is a beta, so it can be forgiven. This, of course, is a beta, so a lot of things will probably be fixed, modified, etc. But yeah, so Kaspersky did very well. So look for it. Look in the future. We're gonna have way more of these test benches if you guys liked it. But anyway, that's about it for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.